far-right movements in the US and UK are gaining traction. It was a driving force behind Britain's vote to leave the European Union and Donald Trump's campaign to win the US presidential election. But are the two movements linked? Is there a connection between far-right politics on both sides of the Atlantic? Tommy Robinson, born Stephen Yaxley Lennon, is a far-right activist in Britain. He was the founder of the English Defence League, an organisation that campaigns against Islamic extremism. I'm not a racist, I'm not a fascist. I'm far from it. So if the best argument you've got is to say racist, fascist, rather than deal with the problem or talk about the problem, which is militant Islam, everyone's trying to pretend we're the problem. We're a reaction to actions that are going on in this country. For the most part of 10 years, he's only really been known in Britain. But a court case in Leeds changed that after he was jailed for breaking reporting restrictions. His live streaming of events outside was deemed a contempt of court, which could prejudice the case. He was sentenced to 13 months in prison. In America, Robinson's story has been reported as one of injustice. His supporters say he was punished for broadcasting unpopular views. Now, some have likened him to a suffragette for right-wing politics. Over 630,000 people signed a petition for his release. Protests took place across Britain and campaigns under the Free Tommy banner exploded online. One of the biggest names to come forward in Robertson's defence was Steve Bannon, a former advisor to President Trump. Bannon said Robinson was the backbone of the country on a radio show hosted by the former leader of Britain's right-wing party, UKIP. Weeks later, Robinson was freed on bail, pending a retrial. Has this high-profile endorsement revealed a deeper level of far-right cooperation between the US and UK? Bannon is reportedly setting up a foundation to spread far-right political groups across Europe. He's already met with some of Europe's far-right leaders, such as France's Marine Le Pen. And he says he's aiming to establish a right-wing supergroup within the European Parliament. The movement, as it's called, is expected to set up its own headquarters in Brussels ahead of the European parliamentary elections next year. Tommy Robinson's imprisonment in the UK has become a focus point for the far-right movement. It's moved the debate from Britain to America and beyond. Has it empowered two separate far-right movements in two separate countries to link up? And if so, has the far-right moved into the mainstream?